don't even know actually if we can answer that question. I don't know how we publicly. Publicly, yeah, how we came up with that. Don't you remember <laughs> that you emailed me a name and it was the backdoor Betty's? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Um. Yeah, I did. I did, and then we googled that, and that didn't work. That was a nasty. No. That was a bad idea. I I think I am very naive. I've been living sheltered. I didn't know what that meant. Now everybody's gonna Google that. Yeah. The people who were naive before, now you, you, you're gonna. But. <laughs> but. Anyway, it evolved to the backyard buddies, and people love that name. About a year ago, I was uh, throwing rocks at Sarah's window, and I was saying. Yeah, why were you doing that? And I didn't want to disturb your partner, so I was throwing them gently and saying, let me in, let me in. And yeah, that was me. I called the cops. Oh, Sarah never did let me in. And uh, you had that, you know, that black, black yeah. yeah. You misunderstood. Kind of, I misunderstood, yeah, I misunderstood. So this is the CD, it's called Let Me In, and um, none of us are playing on it, but... But it's a good CD. It's a good yeah, I like the CD. You know, the CD's going to be finished... Um, probably by May of next year, and as I said, a new CD with some of those same songs. Well, three of the songs are going to be the same, probably, but there'll be new material that we've written. And uh, next year, like 2011. 2011, yeah. Yeah, we wrote "No Rest for the Wicked," and that was a departure from our usual uh, grunge lullaby um, yeah. theme songs that we had. Yeah. So that was a bit more on the uh, what? What would you call that? Rocky kind of blues. It was a bluesy uh, old time. No rest for the wicked. It kind of goes like that. So we thought we did all the Starbucks in Calgary. Starbucks. That's a like it's like a radio tour, but it's a Starbucks <laughs> tour because we like Starbucks. <laughs> it's an important message for women to understand that it's okay to have hairy legs. Especially in our climates. I, I think people connect to that song for sure. And the song we should say is about someone who's trying to uh, change their significant other who is not so feminine, trying to make them become more feminine. Yeah, I don't know where that even came from because the girl I was dating, like, how could she not see <laughs> how feminine you are? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's, that, I find that really odd. I guess I should probably come clean about why I use the suitcase as a bass drum. I am. Uh, you can I, clean? I, I am. I had to uh, make a hasty retreat from my, from my girlfriend's place and all I could grab was my snare and throw it in the suitcase so the, your the bass drum is still back at her house and I've had to use this ever since. Are you sensitive about that? I'm not, I'm not a freak dancer that I I mean, because just I, I didn't know you the, the members, the members of the band who are gay. Did you have to be gay? Are, are gay? Just I, members I, of the I, did, you, did you not fill out the questionnaire? Oh. You didn't take the test. I'm not gay. Are you gay? I my wife is, but I'm not. Oh, she she's gay. I didn't know that. Are you okay with that? Um. Well, now that you mention it, I'm a little uncomfortable. I. Wow, no one ever this takes me for gay. What about you? Well, they they don't take me for gay. They take me for Ken, like as opposed to Barbie. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. You're gay. Eh? Really? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't. I didn't think you needed to know. It's the old don't ask, don't tell. Oh. So, wow. I don't think I don't know what I'm gonna do now. What about, it's what okay. About, what about Brian? <laughs> I sell appliances for a living. If you need appliances, please come and see me. At Show me the money appliance. I'm 100% commission. I need the money to be able to support this whole thing. The backyard base. The backyard base. Yeah, I think it's changed me. I think I'm. I have better hair. You've better hair. You definitely have better hair. Yeah. Yeah. Your hair before was. It was a challenge. It looked like yours. Yeah. Oh. So, changed you? Yes, your fame has definitely changed me. 
You lost me. Yeah, we're on a different track. Oh, well, it's been four months without you, and I'm finally breaking free from the heartache and the sorrow that's been weighing down on me. Well, then you come around when I'm tender feeling <laughs> and. Yeah, that's a new one. It just came to me. <laughs> wow. I just, I just you just had a moment? I just wrote that. Wow.